Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time reviewing on issue 5 of Beast Wars Transformers IDW Comic Review. Now, as you know, this is meant to be IDW's own take on Beast Wars after, after back in 2006 and 7 when they did their version of The Gathering and its sequel story. And the cover mainly has Dinobot in a holding cell. And let's get on the story. We see how Dinobot is now in the inner cell saying, Well, a maximal jail was not where I expected to find myself today. I must admit, it's not a cell. And we see how Oddness points out that it's meant to be sort of a holding place for malfunctioning protoforms. We see how Dinobot and Optimus and that get into a little disagreement, and how Dinobot points out that he should have had command in that, and would have took him down easily. So we see how Nyx wants to meet Dinobot and talk with him, with Optimus wanting to say he was sorry for letting Nyx go by herself, but says, Never mind, we'll talk later. You know, I think he was going to say he would, he'd been worried about you. And we see how Nix and Dinobot talk, saying how why why he'd saved her, which he says, You didn't deserve to die like that. We see how Nix said, Why would you care? I know there's been peace between Maximals and Triticons for a long time, but that doesn't mean there's no amnesty. It's ancient and called deep in the spark. We see how Nix points out there was a Predacon at her university who nearly killed her during a lab project. We see how Nix points out about how like he's a terrorist and did all these bad things. We see how Donobot points out that he thought, thought that Megatron was just like him and realised he didn't have what he had. And said that he wanted to know more about the golden disc than anything else. We see how Rat Crap says, Ah, ain't that sweet? What are you watching? The fantasy program about a Predacon with a heart of gold. You spying on Nyx? And we see how they get a sort of signal. Turns out it's Megatron and his forces hiding behind the bushes. With Megatron saying, Hmm, no, I don't think so. A crash-landed armed vessel doesn't require such an attack. We'll walk over and let them feel their doom approach. So we see how Ratcliffe and the others see that there are other targets, and Optimus wants to sort of raise the defences, but Ratcliffe points out, because of the whole Nyx thing, they had hardly any time to set up the other defences. So Optimus, Keto, and Rhinox head out while Ratcrap fixes things. So we see how Megatron decides to let Tarantulas sneak into the ship to set the self-destruct sequence. And we see how Megatron says, Attention Maximals, I am Megatron, future roar of Cybertron. So after Optimus points out that he's here to arrest them and that they're wanted fugitives, and says, Defacent, huh? You'll live to regret that, but not for very long. Protocons, terrorize! And so we see how Nyx hears something going on, and realizing that, th that he has to let Dinobot out, given the fact they'll need strength in numbers. We see how Scorponok tries to take on Keto to little to no effect. And seeing Waspinator saying, Perfect, but you can't start a Waz Openox and me at the same time. Oh no, watch me. We see how Rattrap is trying to fix the defenses, but something happens to the power, which he ends up meeting Tarantulas, who says, Oh yes, <laughs> I know a little. Mm Morsel, like you would be here, with taste and te techno organic. And so Ratcrap tries to blast him, 
and says, You wretched little vermin, you'll pay for that. Come on out and face me. And decides to sort of sort of deal with, with his ship. And we see how Megatron basically pummels Optimus, who says, Give you a chance to save yourself, but you're interested on this fight. That's why you fail. So we kind of see how Keto and the others are still dealing with Megatron's forces and needs the extra help. But Rhinox says, love to, but I've got my hands full this once, as strong as I am. And so we kind of see how Optimus and Megatron are still duking it out. But we see someone saying, come now Megatron. We both know that's not true. With Nyx and Dinobot coming into action. And this is the story. So issue 5 isn't too bad. I would say, unlike the Beast Wars TV series, you can kind of tell Optimus and the others aren't quick to trust Dinobot completely. And I think the build-up between Nyx and Dinobot does leave a potential love story for the two of them. And I think this issue, once again, deserves... A thumbs up. Still good, and still alright. So, Comic Reviewer here, signing out.